only on WLWT tonight. Controversy becomes confrontation in Grant County. What began as a budget meeting turned into an all-out battle, uh, battle afterwards as a judge executive has a run-in with a deputy. And News 5's Brian Hamrick reporting on the meeting that began with one dispute and ended with another. Well, there is some disagreement about exactly what happened behind the doors of the Grant County Courthouse here, but everyone agrees it got more than heated and that they didn't have to call a deputy because they were already right here and in the middle of things. Did you heard what I told you when I come out the courtroom door? A cell phone captured part of the post meeting meltdown. Judge Executive Darrell Link came out the door and he was making the quiet clear. He says, I'm the toughest guy here. Steve Kelly. He then turned and looked at Deputy Mullins and hit him like this and shoved him back out of the way. And Robert Hall. And just took his shoulder and just hit him, I mean, really hard. Had a ringside seat, as they say, the judge executive body checked a Grant County deputy after a physical court meeting turned physical, but it wasn't finished there. He came over and started getting into my face. He kept aggravating the situation, and it, it was just chaos. A deputy's cell phone captured the last words of it all. Come on, everybody get out. Everybody get out. Come on. Come on. The dispute came after a meeting where a controversial sheriff's budget was finalized. At the center of it all, Judge Executive Daryl Link, who says he didn't body check anyone, but turned to find the deputy in his personal space. And so I took my left arm and. I think I caught him by surprise and I moved him to the left. I didn't shove him. I didn't wrench his back. I didn't buckle his knees. I merely moved him to the left. Link says everyone was too edgy after the meeting. I wish the confrontation shouldn't have happened, Brian, but it, but it did, and we'll just have to apologize for it and move on. Robert Hall is one of about a dozen sending witness statements to the Commonwealth attorney because of a meeting run amok. So far, the Commonwealth attorney hasn't given a timeline as to when or if anyone will be charged. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.